postcard for me from New York. Uh, what's New York? It's a very big town on the ocean. It's from Thursday, the magician. Do you guys remember Thursday? He was so handsome and brave. You don't really think he was handsome. I refuse to argue with a chicken. Do you want me to read the postcard out loud? Uh, but do you know how to read, Marcelino? I've known how to for more than a year. Do you think you could teach me? Dogs can't read. Oh, and storks can? Oh, stop it right now or I'm going to leave. <laughs> well, somebody's got to be the first. Sorry. <clears throat> Dearest Marcelino, <laughs> I'm in New York with the circus. And I would love for you to come and see the big skyscrapers in this amazing city. I'm thinking about you all a lot. He's thinking about us. us. I would also like for you to come to the circus, where there will always be a place for you. Lots of love from your unforgetting friend, Thursday. That sounds like an invitation. <laughs> and maybe you can find your mom there. Too bad the Friars won't let you go. They don't have to find out. By tonight, he'll already be on his way back. We can explain everything to the Friars. How do you plan on doing that? Uh, I'll think of something. Go to New York, Marcelino. Then you can mm -hmm. come back and tell us all about it. And give Thursday a big kiss from me. <laughs> <laughs> Marcelino! Marcelino! Hi, Rufus! I wanted to say goodbye, too. But as you know, I'm not very welcome around there. I'm just like the Count of Monte Cristo or Robin Hood, a heroic fugitive. Oh, it's not all that bad, Rufus. Have a good trip. Lots of luck, and I hope you find your mom. Say hello to Thursday for me. <laughs> Thanks, Rufus. Be good. I'll do my best. <laughs> Take care. Mm -hmm. Bring back a souvenir. Where do you think you're going? To, to the train. By yourself? Yes, sir. Don't you know that children aren't allowed to travel alone? And that you need a ticket to get on the train? Mm, no. If I see you around here again, I'll lock you up in a room with no lights. A room full of rats! May I have a ticket to New York, please? To New York? Did you say to New mm -hmm. York? Don't be pulling my leg. I don't have time for nonsense. Get out of here. Out! What? Where are you going? Ah! That boy! Stop that boy! Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I hadn't seen you, dear colleague. I travel quite often. I always go first class and stay in the best hotels. <laughs> in fact, I'm on my way to the capital to sell a flock of lambs and sign some business deals for the Duke of Mars. What are you doing here? Oh, if I see you on this train again, you'll be sorry. Oh! <gasps>
slaughterhouse. <gasps> the slaughterhouse? You're the boy that started the animal rebellion at the Duke of Last House. Help us! Help us! Help us! Help us! Help us. Well, what can I do? Stop the train and let us escape. Wait a minute. Excuse me. We're going to stop this train. Strange. I don't see any station here. Uh, my lambs! My lambs are escaping! <laughs> Good luck, little brothers! I hope you find a better master! Hey! We're not there yet! Bones. It's past ten o'clock. Hmm? Marcelino Panivino, you know I don't like it. I have to repeat myself. <gasps> Father! Father Prior! Marcelino disappeared! After a long journey, Marcelino finally reached the seashore. He was amazed at the enormity of the ocean. But he couldn't stay and play at the beach for long. He had to carry on with his travels. Captain, destination New York. small to be traveling alone. I'm old enough. Well, be careful. This sea can be very, very dangerous. If you need me, just say the word. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you guys fish? Come here. Come over here. Here. <laughs> I told you to be careful. What was that? A shark. <gasps> well, was it trying to eat me? Sharks will eat anything. <laughs> See you soon. Oh. Under my tail and hold your breath.
Thank you very much, Dolphin. See you around. Don't mention it. You know where to find me. Hey! Um, how do I get out of here? Tomorrow is another day. That's true. <laughs> huh? What's wrong now? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just in a good mood, you know. <laughs> Can you see any boats from up there? No. And pretty soon it'll be night. Mm, well, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Gee, some people don't have any manners at all. Oh. Can't you <gasps> find somewhere oh. else to sit? I'm sorry, I, I thought you were a rock. Well, I'm not a rock. I am a first-class turtle. I know some of your land sisters. They aren't my sisters. They're cousins. And they are much more ordinary than I am. How do you know? It's rude not to answer when somebody asks you a question. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm hungry. Who taught you our language? Don't hurt me, please. Oh, I was only trying to help you. I came here with good intentions, but since I'm so ugly, everybody thinks I'm bad. I think you're very handsome. Do you mean it? Really? I never lie. I'm going to bring you something to eat from our submarine gardens. See if you can find a ham sandwich, okay? <laughs> it's not very nice to laugh at a stranger. We weren't laughing at you. Just at your ignorance, there aren't any ham sandwiches around here. Are you planning on sticking around here? No, I'm on my way to New York to find a magician and my mother. That sounds like fun. Exquisite algae and delicious assorted seafood. Mm. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. Lobster spawns with my best wishes. Sleep tight. We'll be watching over you. Boat, boat inside! Oh. <laughs> Come on, we can't waste any time. Is there any 
anybody there? <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Marcelino Panivino! Ah! And I'm lost at sea! Well, I don't want any kids on my boat. I'm a lonely sailor, and lonely sailors sail alone. That's why they're lonely. Understand? Where are you headed? To New York, sir. <laughs> this ship isn't going to New York. This ship is traveling around the world, and it's going in the opposite direction. Who brought you here? A dolphin and a swordfish. Are you trying to pull my leg? Then let the swordfish and dolphins take you back where you came from. Now you'll see what I do with bad boys like you that lie. No slackers allowed here. Don't expect any food until I see all of these dishes clean. Are all of these yours, sir? Well, it is strictly forbidden to ask the captain of the ship any oh. questions. Now start washing! Don't worry, I'll help you. I'm Mousy, at your command for whatever you need. Don't pay any attention to Captain Jonas. He may shout a lot, but he wouldn't hurt a fly. Did he dirty all these dishes by himself? The thing is, he never washed a dish in his life. Jonas Green here. Captain Jonas speaking. The lonely sailor traveling around the world. Don't I speak clear enough for you? Traveling around the world. I'm a lonely sailor. Lonely. I've taken in a shipwrecked boy. A boy. Are you all deaf or what? He says his name is Marcelino Panivino, and that he lives in some friar's Franciscan monastery. That's right, Franciscan friars. Tell the nearest ship to come and pick him up. I can't look after him. Because I'm a sailor, not a nanny. Over and out. Where could Marcelino be? Arriving in New York? Don't be silly, brothers. He couldn't possibly get to New York. No, we have to be patient. He could walk through that door at any moment. <laughs> the, the, there's no... Uh, Ma Ma Mar Marcelino, he's hey. on a boat. The Captain Jones... Uh, uh, oh, I heard it. What are you trying to say, Matteo? Slow down, Doctor. I, I just heard on, on the ra ra radio. What did you hear on the radio, Matteo? That Ma Marcelino is safe and sound on a boat in the middle of the ocean. In, in the, the ocean? ocean? What do we do now? What do you think we're going to do? Go find him. Scrub the deck and clean my cabin. Why is the sea shining like that? It's from millions and billions of living bodies that phosphoresce and produce light. It's something you don't see all the time. Now, get to sleep. Aye, aye, Captain.
be scared together. Blossoming out of the snow 